Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Living Life with Leticia. I am in the process of having to switch out my Space Saver box, uh, bags. I use these for a lot of different things, uh, for my comforters and pillows. I have a lot of bedding that I hold on to because we have a lot of people to come, or we used to, you know, before COVID. But I still maintain my comforters and stuff like that and my sheets and pillows and everything else that I got to get. Cause I need a pillow for everybody's head to lay down on. And so I got them, you know, bagged up. And uh, when I looked up in my cabinet the other day or the, um, in the linen closet, uh, and I looked up in there and they, okay, and um, the bags were deflated or inflated. Sent in an email. This will be a lifetime commitment. If these bags does not hold up, I will be sending them back every time. I'm tired of buying bags, stuff, old stuff that don't work right. I need them to be deflated and stay deflated until I open the bag up. So I'm gonna pull out the new box. So I'm gonna start by you will taking the stuff out of these bags that's already there. I'm gonna refold the items and make sure that they don't come over the little line. Uh, but other than that, I don't know anything else that it tells you to do. So this says spread out the vacuum or spread out the vacuum storage bag and open zip fastener. Fill the bag with your textiles. Important overfilling will cause the bag to reinflate. Now this is just one item. It comes a little bit over the stop line. So I'm gonna refold it. Hold one side of the closing edge of the bag and firmly slide the zipper along the edge of the closed bag. Vacuum, open the cap, place the codes on the blind. Um, do, important, do not remove the foam valves inside the cap. Removing this car reinflate. I ain't never removed that, so I'm headed proper. Store, at the vacuuming, all the air out of the bag, stop and close the cap quickly to create an airtight seal. Listen carefully for any signs of leaking out of the cap or zipper part of the bag. Now, the leaking is coming from other places, but we will make sure that we do and follow each instruction. Okay, so it comes with a little pump. A jumbo. Okay, so we got one, two, and a raw three. Okay, and then it gives little, little instructions, which is great because people that don't know how to use these, which apparently is me, then blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give. So I'm gonna just try to slide these in here without even putting them in one by one. I'm just gonna try to slide them in the bag. Okay, so I just slid this in, from that in, all three of them are in there, I hope and pray. Yep. I'm not passing the stop line. I am within my range. My stop line is here. Okay, now I have three comforters in. They feel Nice and snug, nothing's bulging anywhere. So I'm just closing this up with my fingers for right now. And then I'm gonna put this on there and slide it over several times to make sure. The older people are the ones that accumulate all this crap. But I've been having this stuff. I mean, I've been having to keep stuff like this because we used to have folk come and now, you know, that COVID uh, hit. Things changed as far as, you know, everybody just coming when they want to or as often as they wanted to because I limited, you know, people from coming. I did not want anybody coming because of COVID. Uh, especially people that had not been vaxxed uh, well before they even came up with the vaccination. I, I, uh-uh, will not stay home. 
because he won't be able to get in him. I told my son he came to pick up my grandbaby. I hated him to do that, but he did, of course. Um, they didn't get COVID, thank God. They did not get COVID, but he's gotten COVID now twice. I want to tell him, wear your dang mask, man. Y'all wear your mask, because you got a family there. You got to take care of them, baby. You got to stay around. You got to stay around for us. I said, we love you. But anyway, um, and don't drive so fast either. How about that? I do have one of these, but for right now, we got one jumbo filled with three comforters and we're gonna lay that to the side. Curl for that, and it's not being on the stop sign even when it lays down. So we are good to go. What they need to do included in this kit would be really good if you, you if you gave some patches. And that way, if there is a little spot that, a little pinhole or something that you can take care of, you don't have to get a whole new set. Now, I don't know if that would work. And uh, they don't have nothing else in this box, so I know they don't, that's not one of the things that they do. They sent them, I was not happy to go through the grilling seemed like that I went through. Uh, Cause she ain't like I didn't, you know, I didn't have proof of whatever and whatever, honey. I, if I'm calling you, I got me proof. are great space savers. They really are, because you see how many comforters I have. I got a total of like nine comforters in these bags. 
uh, four large pillows, more comforters, more bedding, pillows. I'm gonna go ahead and bring those bags down the hall. Now, I don't know how to pick these up any carefuler than what I'm doing. Carefuler. Mm -hmm. That's how I normally put them. And they go all the way up to the top. One of the things I wanted, storage. <laughs> Cause I got stuff, baby. I got stuff. And I knew that I'm gonna accumulate them. And so is he. This without falling. Ah, and I kill him myself. Put up. You see? Nope. Now, so that's that. And over. So there's plenty of room for these bags. They're not being scrunched down. They can stand straight up. But anyway, that is the end of this bag saga. I hope. I got the replacements. I put them in, uh, everything back in the bags. I've taken out the old bags. I'm going to put them in a box to the side somewhere. I don't even know what to do with them. Be blessed, and y'all be a blessing. This is bye.